Hi there, Lynn Davis here with another video blog entry from lynndavis.com. So today I'm not going to really talk about any educational topics. Instead, I'm going to just talk to you about, I'd like to talk to you all about dreams and what makes dreams come true. Um, I'll tell you a little story that I experienced myself. Um, I had been playing the bass for just a couple of years and was playing in bands around the Philadelphia area near my hometown of Wilmington, Delaware. And uh, at that time, this was about the time that Don Henley's Building the Perfect Beast record was out and had spawned all these fantastic hits and was a, a big summer tour, I believe. And uh, so I went to see Don Henley at the big arena dome in Philadelphia. I think we sat in the second row. And I was astonished to see that Don Henley had a very tall, statuesque, blonde woman playing the bass guitar in his band that year. And my friend was also like elbowing me all night, like, wow, that, that could be you. Like, she looks like you and she, she has that leg thing that you do and she has your hair cut or whatever, you know, just all night long. He kept saying, that could be you. And I remember driving home that night thinking, yeah, that could be me. I, there's nothing on a Don Henley record I couldn't play right now, you know. But I realized that probably wasn't going to be me as long as I was living in Wilmington, Delaware. So the very next day, I went out on my lunch hour, started a savings account, and bought a plane ticket to Los Angeles to go on a recon mission to see if I thought Los Angeles was a tolerable place enough to live that I might move there. So just seeing her that one time just ignited that thing in me that made me want to take it to the next level. I was in my 20s at this time. I was in my late 20s at the time and still living in my hometown. Um, so I bought that plane ticket and I did eventually move to Los Angeles a few months later. Um, it come to pass that, of course, through the network of female musicians and players in the LA area, I eventually did meet that woman. Her name is Jennifer Condos. She's a fabulous musician and uh, eventually became a very good friend to me and was um, very, very helpful to me uh, many times as I, over the years that I lived in Los Angeles. So um, as it turned out, at one time she helped me find a place to live when I was looking for a new place to live and mentioned to me that the place next door to her was gonna become available. And in fact, we did become next door neighbors. My roof and her roof were just this close to one another. And uh, we stayed neighbors for quite some time and shared many great uh, holidays and things together. So my point in telling you this story is that if you had told me at that time that I was looking up at her and she was so larger than life watching her play with Don Henley and told me that, yes, you will go across the country and yes, you will know that woman and yes, you will be friends and yes, you will learn uh, a lot about that and, and become involved in that industry as well. I probably wouldn't have believed it. That would have seemed like the stuff of fairy tales at that time. But something was ignited in me that night, and I did go and take that first step. And that's how dreams become real. One step at a time. That one step that I took to go to Los Angeles, even though it would have seemed completely far-fetched that I should actually end up neighbors having morning coffee in the yard with that woman on stage, that's that's what dreams that's what happens little steps and all of a sudden you're in a place that you go wow how, how did i get here um so i wanted to share that with you to remind you that when you hear those voices around you they could be voices of other people around you or even voices from within your own head that tell you yeah, that's just so far-fetched that's just too fantastic that's like a fairy tale don't buy it it doesn't mean that it's not possible that it's that the possibilities are even greater a greater fairy tale than you could even imagine so i want you to keep that thought in your back pocket and keep on dreaming and come back and visit me again next week in the meantime stop by the website at lindavis.com see if there's anything there that could ignite or inspire you in the meantime thanks for joining me we'll see you next time